Do you live in a building with no Wi-Fi for Tesla software updates? I'm going to show you how to get Wi-Fi. All right, welcome back to Norton Tesla. Dan here with another quick tip. And this was a really quick one, but for those of you who live in, say, a condo or a building and you don't have access to Wi-Fi to get your software update. Now, you would think you could go to a public Wi-Fi, but most of those you require some sort of pop-up to accept, and Tesla doesn't allow you to do that. So for software updates, you need Wi-Fi. There are two ways to do this. The first one is you can hotspot from your phone. The way to do this is turn on your phone's hotspot, then go over to the car and go to the Wi-Fi tab and connect. The second way is to drive over to your local Tesla service center and your vehicle should automatically connect to Wi-Fi. So as you can see, I'm at the Tesla service center. If you go to your Wi-Fi settings, uh, it should come up automatically. So you'll see Tesla vehicle as well as Tesla guest Tesla service, but Tesla vehicle should show up automatically and connect automatically. As you can see here, I've connected to Wi-Fi and there is my software update already downloading. If you go over to the software tab, you see down here that it is already downloading. So if you do not have Wi-Fi at home, that is one way of getting it, your software updates. All right, so those are two quick ways to get your software updates if you don't have Wi-Fi at home. I know there's a lot of you out there who don't have this option. So like I said, you can use your hotspot or drive over to a service center. If you like this tip and you want more, be sure to subscribe because you won't get these tips anywhere else and you don't know how to search for them because you really don't know they exist. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know his videos. So we'll check you out next week.